In other news tonight at 5 o'clock, the Beach Grove Fall Festival is now moving forward tonight, but the Scrambler ride is closed. Now, last night, a metal bar fell off the Scrambler, injuring a rider. Now, you might not think the state would shut down a ride for good in this situation, and eyewitness news reporter Rich Van Wyk found out that's the way it works. Rich? John, we're learning new information. I just received information from the Department of Homeland Security responsible for these ride inspections. Inspectors went back over this ride today. We just learned that those inspectors found what they call some minor violations, nothing that would have contributed to yesterday's accident. With one of those light bars up there, covered in electric lights, it's a pretty heavy piece of aluminum, broke free of the ride, crashed down, and injured one of the riders. The inspectors declared the ride safe to use. The Beach Grove mayor said, no thanks, shut it down and take it away, and the company said, okay. The ride is 54 years old. It passed its annual state inspection in the spring. State inspectors, though, re-examined the mechanical and safety systems, as well as maintenance and other records kept by the amusement company. And everything um, was compliant. But Beach Grove isn't taking any chances. We have asked Poor Jacks to go ahead and, and take it out of service for the remaining of the festival. Why? Uh, in the interest of public safety. Last night, Amanda Gasper was taking a video of her son and mother riding the Scrambler. Seconds later, it was nearly tragic. A metal bar full of electrical lights apparently snapped free and fell, hitting a 17-year-old rider in the face. The witness say he was trying to protect his girlfriend. And like the boyfriends were just like toppling over all the girls and like trying to save them. The young man's injuries appeared to be minor. The owners of Poor Jack Amusements didn't want to discuss the accident. The family-owned Indiana company has been in business for decades. It's been part of Beach Grove's festival for 39 years. City officials say they haven't had a problem until now. We have always had a great working relationship with Poor Jacks in the interest of public safety. In fact, the Department of Homeland Security, which is responsible for these inspections, says the company is very responsible uh, to the suggestions that inspectors make. What's going to happen with this ride? It can't be taken out this afternoon. It's going to, we we're told it's going to be taken out tonight after the fall festival closes. I spoke with a 17-year-old mom, and she quickly said her son is, is doing okay. She didn't want to talk any more about it or be on camera. The fall festival continues. It's still underway. Back to you.